Remember all those sequels after the original Halloween? Well, forget them. In the latest reboot, also called Halloween, we go back to the beginning and see Jamie Lee Curtis's Laurie Strode preparing for the ultimate showdown. While serial killer Michael Myers has been chained in prison, she's been arming herself, turning her house into the ultimate mousetrap. Director David Gordon Green treats this like J.J. Abrams' reboot of Star Trek. He creates his own mythology and lets us see who's up to no good. For starters, there's a shrink who's determined to figure out what lurks in Meyer's mind. He's spilling all to podcasters who think the case is ripe for serialization. You have no security system, Karen. Mom, you need help. Lori's daughter, played by Judy Greer, has a seemingly normal life, even though folks think her mother is a nut job. Go home! Get out! The night before Halloween, Myers is about to be transported to another prison when, guess what, there's a bus accident that unleashes the masked man on the unsuspecting. Green doesn't show a lot of gore, but he certainly offers up plenty of references to the past. Curtis gets her chance to clear her own name and square off with the man who's haunted her for 40 years. Like Logan, this puts a nice button on the Halloween story. It doesn't meddle with that original film's dynamic, but it rewards those who have been loyal through so many unnecessary sequels. Just these. I don't want the others. Come on, man. I slept these all the way here. There's people waiting. You know, you don't have to be so disrespectful. Well, Curtis helps polish Halloween's reputation. Melissa McCarthy works on her own. In Can You Ever Forgive Me, the go-to comedian turns to drama as writer Lee Israel. When work dries up, she embraces several vices and finds a new career as a literary forger. Copying the style of famous writers and actors, she produced letters that helped pay the bills. Never mind she was duping hundreds of people. I mean, the PS makes it priceless. Based on Israel's autobiography, the quirky film lets McCarthy reveal other gifts, particularly a tenderness that wasn't seen in Bridesmaids and several of her other hit films. These are wonderful. I thought so, too. Name your price. You were looking at one month's rent. Directed by Marielle Heller, Can You Ever Forgive Me shows what lengths people go to just to stay afloat. Israel's tactics will surprise, but McCarthy's performance will impress. While she's often a one-man band, she proves she doesn't need a large supporting cast to entertain. She's the beginning, the middle, and the end. With your Movies in a Minute, I'm Bruce Miller.